We're back for another episode of For the Love of Health, where I get the amazing opportunity to connect with health practitioners and hear their stories and then come back to you guys. And we get to um, hear and pick up things about how people are doing what they're doing and how they got to where they are in their businesses. I'm here with Tammy Cho today. And um, Tammy is based in Canada. And we are um, going to shift into talking about um, her work today. Welcome, Tammy. Thanks for being Thanks. here. Thanks. Appreciate you having me, Laura. Awesome. So why don't you um, tell us like how long you've been doing Path to the Heart um, and your type of work? Sure. Um, I've been in this for about three to four years now. Uh, I was previously working in sort of the healing industry in, as a registered nurse for 20 years. And, you know, like most of us, we all have our story of how we like came to be in the sense of for, for me, it was like a space where I was like uh, experiencing a burnout, basically, basically got rolled off to emergency in front of all my coworkers at work. And that really sort of pushed me into my healing journey because really leading up to that time, I knew I was burning out, but I wasn't necessarily letting myself do what was right for me. So um, what I and, and so this is why I'm passionate about doing what I'm doing, because and then there's many of us that know what we should do and versus actually doing it and living it and being it. And that's what I'm passionate about to help like uh, heart centered leaders, high achievers really sort of bridge that gap. And well, that's to, a big gap. That's a really big gap. And I know we've talked before. You have a really great um sense of feeling out spaces before you join them mm -hmm. and uh, a really clear sense of boundaries that you put up in your work so like are, is that part of like what you're talking about when it comes to like changing the direction yeah well I mean that's definitely a piece of the puzzle I mean like for for me like when we talked about last time it's about uh, it's about you know we're totally bombarded with all these different um, uh, classes and, and workshops out there. And it's really easy to sort of keep on sort of flowing with what, oh, that looks interesting. That looks interesting. The next sort of squirrel or diamond. And uh, what I have noticed within myself is really the deeper um, connection I have with myself, my intuition and connection with my own energy and my body all helps me now know what's right for me versus just going with everything being pulled in these different directions and you know I, I talk about that as in online space but that happens in our everyday personal life too right it's not like happens in one area and not the other generally speaking and so so yeah like um did I answer your question there <laughs> Yeah, no, totally. I mean, it's like, even now, as we sit here, I mean, our last call was only like two weeks ago, right? And I mean, like, just trying to remember those kinds of details and drawing a person, I think it becomes really, really hard um, now to like, even like, pull into the moment and draw a map of how we connected in the first place. Um, does that resonate with you? I mean, how does that feel? Yeah, you mean drawing a map within ourselves to sort of understand ourselves or I just want to get some clarity on that, Laura. Yeah, it's just like drawing a map of like how we, you know, what connections do we go with? What mm. what things do we see through? And, you know, how do we know we're in the right place? Yeah, and so um well, <laughs> that, it's a big, it's a big question, but that, that's okay. Like I, I'll dive into it, you know, with whatever feels right right now. So for, for myself, I started, um, um, as a health practitioner and now I'm more sort of a, a coach and healer. Um, but well, why I bring that up is that I started off helping people with their, the body level at the doing face and body analysis. And obviously as a nurse, I've worked with the body for a long time and, now I've used it now as um, my body is the instrument, is my gauge uh, that allows me to understand if there's things within myself that are in alignment versus not in alignment. And that's really just our portal. Our body is really portal to more information because just what, how, what, uh, how our eyes look like, the distance between, you know, our our, um, our, our eyes, our eyebrows, all these things like actually speak about 
you know, our, it's the embodiment of our thoughts and, and emotions that have stemmed underneath. And so um, I help people sort of guide themselves deeper through their own body so that they can connect to um, uh, that emotional piece because really our body is a representation of our emotional history, expression of our soul purpose. And it also, um, <laughs> like I'm, I'm sure some of our, our, our audience knows that all around us is our electromagnetic field. And some people call it the aura. And so it's it's um, depending how you look at it, right? Our body is the instrument and there's so many layers. And I help people journey through these layers and to remove what's in the way from actually connecting to self. Um, does that, I, I, I feel like I'm, I have so much to talk about this that I just want to make sure I'm not going too out there. So just <laughs> let me know, just ground me and <laughs> make sure I'm answering what you want to hear. <laughs> I mean, whoever like hears it will hear what they what they need to hear. And I, I feel that. Um, and I think you bring up some really good points about connection. Um, and so moving forward to like, you know, how do we like find the thing that we're trying to to do? Um, you know, like you said, like be a bridge between like what we what we're doing and what we think is possible. What would be like a couple first steps to kind of navigating towards that? Well, definitely one of the first many steps is your ability to be present with yourself. I mean, we hear about this all the time and it's it's knowing it and actually doing it. And when you're in that space, when you ask yourself what you want, uh, it's really about like what is coming up? Are you like, are you able to allow yourself to dream? Are you able to connect to your desires? And when those desires come up, is it from whose voice is it? Is it actually your voice or you're answering with a, I don't know? Because I think that vulnerability is a really big piece. And unless we're allowing ourselves to be really radically honest with ourselves, to be vulnerable, to go into these places and to be honest, do we know or do we not know? Are we actually, um, do we have an inkling of our passions and, or are we kind of like, um, yeah, honest, uh, being really disconnected because that's where I started. I was totally numb with our, my feelings. And when we can't feel, we really can't f understand, we can't heal to get there. And I feel this is like a huge first step uh, for people that I, I notice people I work with, people that are high achievers, highly intelligent, highly competent, and they're doing things um, based on what they feel is right. Um, but when you you give your space to be really true and real to yourself, is it actually what you want versus what you feel you should be doing? Yeah, so, I tell a lot of people, you know, too, it's like sometimes when we're, when we're a business, it's like shifting into what like our, our customer needs, what our customer wants too. It's like um, really understanding their emotions instead of like projecting onto them and um, so it's really good to know yourself, right? Like it's really good to know yourself so well when you're going forward in your in your business. And I like that you said that, you know, you 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 were a health practitioner and you transitioned to a coach and a healer. The way that you framed it, it makes complete sense to me. That makes complete sense. Yeah. I mean, I think all of us, we all just want to make a difference and impact somehow. Like we all have a heart that we want to help. And it's also about um, our, our own evolution and how we feel we can serve. Um, and I feel like we're all multidimensional. And, and for me, what, what dimensions I'm working at is really helping people connect to the non-tangibles, <laughs> the, the places that, you know, we can't physically see, but helping us connect back to the body where we could look at ourselves and what comes up when we look at ourselves, right? It's quite interesting. So what would you say like your um your clients like what do they struggle with seeing the most is it that self-awareness piece or is it something else that they don't even know what it is well um i would say i attract a lot of people that say to me they don't we know i know i want to like something is there that is in my way i can't put a finger on it i i attract people that i know that it's my self-worth <laughs> um, and, and uh, I attract uh, people that are just, I'm, I, I feel like they're just in, out of intrigue. They're kind of like, what does my face and body say? 
<laughs> and so I, I would say a bit of a range, um, but leaders wise, um, it's, it's people that really want to match their level of impact with their level of self care. And, um, and so, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a range, but it all stems back to knowing self and connecting to self, being able to have emotional leadership of self. It's not about emotional intelligence, learning how to manage people outside of you. If it's not, if you don't do your work, <laughs> it's really hard to like, you know, be with people in this way and understand the workings um, and be able to support our clients, really. Yeah. And what kind of results are they having? Um, what have they been telling you? Um, I would say um, I had a client that just gave me a video testimonial on the fact that it's like I had a concept of what self-love was. Um, I knew that I was looking to attract abundance. And for the first time in her experience, she actually understood what self-love and actually felt what abundance was. And um, for, for everyone out there, like we all, all hear about the law of attraction and all these things. It's like you got to be and mm -hmm. feel it before attracting it. And so for her, um, she's had... Um, yeah, we only had like four or five sessions and every session she's had amazing breakthroughs on realizing how much more depth she has within herself. And this is a place where it's, it's really getting to know yourself. Um, it's like opening yourself to express more of who you are. Like a lot of my clients talking about, I feel like I have more capacity for being who I am unapolo unapologetically and feeling more aligned, uh, empowered, less self-doubt, less mind chatter, um, just being more of what they're already doing and expanding that. That's a very common theme of the people I work with. Great. Yeah. I mean, and that innate capacity, then you could probably perform better because you have more room for yourself. That's great. Um, but yeah, like it sounds like that's a really clear, um, a really clear result and it can definitely enhance so many, so many qualities, so many things going on in their productivity and their career, their life. Yeah, it sounds great. So what kinds of um, offers, like how do people work with you? Um, are you doing virtual, um, in person? Um, right now, I, I'm, I'm offering online just because with everything is just easier. Everyone has access. And essentially, I work with people at, right now one-to-one. Uh, -one, and in my, my package, I have a, the face and body analysis included. Um, and uh, that's sort of uh, what I noticed is that I, I used to have a weekend program and I just found way more transformation into one-to-one which is what um, the energy of what I bring. Like, um, so that is what I'm offering right now. I also offer um, the face analysis um, and the breakthrough session together that I um, offer to people for people that just sort of want to have that <laughs> sneak preview. And it also is a great way for me and my client to know if it's a good fit for us. Um, because honestly, not everyone is willing to go deeper. It's scary. Right. It's, you got to be open and willing for energy to come in to support us. And so, yeah, those are my two main offerings um, I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm not going to be doing, but I am offering. And that, yeah, it's that you brought up some good points earlier too about like those like keywords that we hear thrown out a lot in the health and coaching and practitioner industry. You know, keywords like um, the law of attraction, um, you know, imposter syndrome, and all these things that we're like we think we understand on the surface what they mean, but it's like a whole other thing. We're really tapping into them and doing the work to uncover the roots of those things. So um, I really think that you, you, you colored that a really nice way. Um, and it's great that you have offers that people can kind of jump into and move and, and learn more about when it comes to you and your work. Um, so what kinds of goals do you have in the next like immediate, like three to six months with you, with your business? <sighs> my goals, um, really, uh, I am just solidif solidifying my foundation on creating my business based on self-love for myself and others i know that sounds <laughs> very um yeah like because I, I feel like this is what i'm offering and bringing and this is me fully living it i want to be in full congruency and alignment with what i'm teaching 
And that means balancing my business, um, who I need, what I need, and also my family's needs. And um, that's a huge goal for me. Um, that's, that's what came up when I was connecting to my heart. And obviously from that, and um, well, I, I want to answer this, but I also feel like it's really important to highlight one other aspect here. I talk about the um, self-love, self-connection as this thing for um, getting out there um, and c connecting with self, being authentic and in, al in alignment. However, <laughs> really, really important piece that people uh, potentially will miss is that it's the root of everything. So if you're not um, giving yourself what you need, you're essentially at some level self-sabotaging and pushing your whatever you're trying to achieve out. <laughs> And so this is a very, very important piece of it. It's not only about like just like results of alignment and authenticity and, you know, deeper love, but it's actually kind of, it's actually the basis, the root of everything in life. Like it will transform everything in your life. And so, um, yeah, I just want to make that distinction on Go doing it for a result in life versus doing it at a state of beingness and actually allowing yourself to receive whatever you say you want. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. And that is a great result that, you know, that you have that ability to, to be present and um, to be able to give yourself the things that you need by being aware of what those things are. So, yeah, that's like an ultimate result. But like you said, one of your non-negotiables for someone to be able to work with you and to be able to get the most out of it is that they are willing to do the work, right? Yes. Yes. Open and willing. Like it's, it's yeah. all about that. Like, um, I think in anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And open to that depth, that deeper work, seeing beyond, beyond the surface level, um, which is great. So um you were a nurse practitioner that's really awesome i think nurses are some of the best people they really do know the body so well yeah like i wasn't a nurse practitioner i was a, a registered nurse and so that was a, a space where definitely um uh yeah it was it was definitely a, um, a leadership educator role um i was in but uh yeah it, it's definitely um gives me the foundation to work with people. Like once a healer, always a healer <laughs> at some level, you know what I mean? Yeah, and this face analysis, this is like one of your ways to introduce yourself to a new client, correct? Uh, yeah, it's it's one of the ways um, for sure. And um, it's in many ways, some people will say it's very, very um, woo, alternative, in many ways it is. And, and um, I, I feel like if we're able to bring the subconscious to the conscious to be addressed, it, the tool is this type of tool is super powerful. Like, cause I've just had, I've had, um, um, counselor therapists like experience the work and they're like a face reading. You could achieve what I achieve in like six, six to seven sessions of building that rapport where you can see it on someone's face. And when you're open and willing to go there and look and receive it, it's really powerful. So, is it like um, something like a traditional assessment tool, like a tongue analysis would be in traditional Chinese medicine, or some kind of mapping of the face meridians, or is something different? Um, it's not like a traditional Chinese medicine in the tongue reading. I'm not a um, Chinese medical doctor. Um, it's it's under it's actually under the therapy of uh, psychosomatic therapy. And so that is basically a study of the body, mind, heart, soul connection. Um, and it's reading uh, facial characteristics. And there are like it's um, and it does have some backing definitely in Chinese medicine. Back then they weren't allowed to take off clothes to get assessments. They had to, you know, look at the tongue and the face and what's happening. So I would say it does point to that a bit, um, but it's not definitely um uh, I don't. I'm. I don't say that I diagnose problems, health challenges. I could point people to definitely what's occurring, like mental, emotion, emotional exhaustion that's happening, like things like that. Yeah, yeah. patterning, patterning, totally it's patterning, and like um, with the pulse as well. It's just patterns and learning and memorizing those patterns and indications. Yeah, it's a, in, a, in a more visual way. And, um, yeah. and it's not, 
I, I like for myself, part of it is actually the reading. The other part is when I just help someone journey through the left side of their face, which is our inner self world, our private self. And then the right side is the public face. What we choose to show the world. And I, I walk them through the experience of these sides of themselves. And yeah, it becomes quite um, emotional and um, awakening for people. Um, I feel some people see themselves for the first time, which, um, yeah, really, you know, makes me feel emotional to the work that I could, the space I could hold for people. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm passionate about what I do, so. <laughs> no, yeah, it comes through very clearly. Um, so how did you come by with that tool? Um, was it a particular person who introduced it to you, a school? Um, I, it's, I, 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 I took a program and I went to Costa Rica to get, um, my certification in it. Um, I'm also, I'm just, I, I completed all my master's work. So I'm just waiting uh, for the college to give me, you know, my, my stamp and my piece of paper, <laughs> but really it doesn't matter. Cause I'm, I'm doing what I do cause I love it. And it's, it is what it is. Like for me, it's, it's the depth, like the depth of who I am that I bring to it versus actually just reading people. So to me, it's, yeah, it's really just a piece of paper. And what kinds of challenges are you having right now with, um, with business, with life? Are you having any challenges when it, you know, just in day in day out activities that you, you know, are trying to work through? Hmm. Yeah. Cause of like, um, um, uh, my, um, past trauma, one of the things that come up for me is always consistently um, choosing to prioritize myself first in the day. And it's funny, like I actually doing really awesome at it. And so the fact that I even need to talk about it is really interesting. And so that's a notice within myself right in the present moment is that I'm doing awesome in it. And it's it does come up in my awareness as something that is super important to me. And that's, that's why I know that this is the work I'm meant to do to help leaders release self-sacrifice and to stop running away from self. And so the, the challenge, I guess, is it's me prioritizing self and I would say recognizing myself for it. <laughs> so I'm talking about it now. Um, that is one of the challenges. Like for me, um, also, it's really, it's really important to actually um, stay in alignment and with who I am. And then also just allowing um, clients to flow and just take act, um, to take embodied like inspired action on a daily basis and just staying in that trust and my experience is once i i do that like clients have come really easily <laughs> so that is just mean i would say a more of a maintenance thing for me right now just keeping yeah, really, maintain yeah. consistency you know yeah, no, I, that's a really great reminder um, for all of us and for anybody who's listening and will be listening to this that, you know, that um, that consistency is such a such a great, great thing and having that trust in your process. That's a really important reminder. That's great. Um, well, thank you so much. Is um, I know that you had something that you wanted to, to tell um, us too, something you wanted to offer us. So do you want to talk about that now or <laughs> um, yeah like um yeah i was just gonna offer like um like if you're um you see yourself as a, a heart-centered high achiever a leader in your own right and you're looking to create life and impact without that self-sacrifice I, I invite you to sort of book a call with me it's complimentary a uh, deep dive um breakthrough session where we got kind of go deep into what exactly that you want to create and uncover what's sort of in the way and um, yeah, it's a place that if you feel we resonate with each other, that we could talk about that. But it's definitely that space is uh, for you to get deeper into yourself. And so that's the gift I would like to give everyone. Thank you so much, Tammy. Yeah. And is there anything else that we could do for you right now in the immediate, like any ideal collaborations or things that you'd like in the interim? Mm, can you give me some examples of what that would look like, Laura? Yeah, so um, depending on what you're, what you're look, you want to meet meeting people eventually, right? So, like, is there like particular um, like audiences you'd like to be in front of, or any kind of projects that you'd like to be doing? Oh well, um, I'm gonna be stepping into um, running my challenge um, 
I, yeah, I, I haven't really set the date yet, but what I could do is set, uh, I'll send a link for, um, what do you call that? It's like, um, it's like a wait list, I guess, for, it's, it's called Boost Your Productive Energy, Uplift Your Heart, <laughs> all at the same time, and um, that's something I'm, I'm putting out as a way to, um, for people to experience that. It's um, easy, simple, and uh, get to know each other um, as a way to, yeah, like I, I work with, uh, like I mentioned, uh, heart-centered high achievers and leaders, like, you know, people that are busy serving and perhaps forgetting about self and knowing the importance of just staying in that. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's who I, I'm passionate about serving. And so that's, um, yeah, I hope I'm answering your question, but uh, that's essentially yeah, no. sort of, yeah, yeah what I I'm looking for. People, I know quite a few people who could be ideal clients. And then I also know, um, people who potentially have similar leaning services who might be great, like Instagram collaborators or people who um, might do like a live with you if you wanted to be on Instagram or LinkedIn more or do something there. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely in LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook right now. So I'm I'm definitely open to getting out there and helping more people. So um, and of course, Laura, we could um, yeah discuss what that looks like for me to you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's kind of the goal of all of this is like by by me connecting and building relationships through this kind of a medium, then I can better be like, oh, that sounds a lot like that conversation I had. I think they'd be a great fit to work together for something um, and share audiences and um, just get their message across to both of those places and, and potentially meet other people who are just great fits for their for their passion projects. So um, I really appreciate your time today. Um, thank you so much for being here. You're so well, you're so welcome. Uh, it was a uh, like joy, Laura. <laughs>